Hey, we finally got a different type of iris that's bloomed. This one is cool, purple and yellow. This is the one my neighbor was talking about that uh, they want they want some of these bulbs. And um well if they're all the same, I might have a couple bunches of these. So very nice. Well good morning ladies. Yeah. Number two, have you started laying eggs again? Because I've been following you and I don't see them. Same with you, number three. I don't know where your eggs are. But number one, I just saw her walk out from where she's laying her eggs. Let's go look. Oh, wait. Hi, Fifi. Hi, Bob. And I have my plant starts out. Today is... Well, I'll do that later in my intro. <laughs> Four trays there, one tray up there. And I got some more that have sprouted inside, so we'll look at those later also. Bob, what's the deal today, Bob? You're just hanging around all morning. Usually you eat and go. Okay, now, uh... Let's see if I can find number one and take a look at where she's laying her eggs. Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Thursday. It's low 60s and sunny. It's like mid-morning 10-ish. And I'm piddling around. But I did see number one. I don't know where she's at right now, but I saw her uh, walking out from underneath the tent again. I checked for she was laying eggs in there. I pulled her out that one day. And got all the eggs and then I checked the next two days there was no egg no I checked the next day and there was no egg so I figured she's gonna find someplace else anyway there's three eggs in here and yesterday I was gone all day and I forgot to check so yeah, there might be four after today yep all right good deal four relatively fresh eggs within the last week anyway Man, I need to get a package of hamburgers and start doing a egg, a fried egg on a hamburger thing. I do have cows next door. <laughs> These are some new little flowers. Cool. On my trip to Russellville yesterday, I stopped by the P.O. box, and <laughs> I got a giant box, so, oh, and I've been itching to open this all day, so now I will open the box. Okay, this is completely unexpected. Um... It says Homewell Walk-In Greenhouse. Holy cow. Oh, there's a picture of it. Ideal for seed propagation, growing flowers, or vegetables. This is incredible. That's two, three, that's just amazing. You know, I was thinking about building the, well, like the chicken coop. Instead of using a tarp, using a greenhouse plastic on that. And in the future, doing a greenhouse like that. But this is exactly what I need to harden them off. And I've got a ton of, all right. You guys just keep giving me projects to do. <laughs> oh, I've got so much to do. This is, this is great. I'm not going to open up, open it up and get it out, and uh, I'll do that when I've <laughs> got, got time and space to put it all together. But thank you, another, another Jeff from Milliken, um, it, looking out for me. This will, this will tremendously help me get seed started. Right, number two? And, of course, that's a huge box, so you know what I do with huge boxes. 
Well, it is time to take these inside. There's another tray over there. But... <laughs> okay, maybe I lied. Maybe I am going to try to put this together real quick. Thanks, Jeff Freed, Ellen family. <laughs> this thing is going to be awesome. Just awesome. I've got five trays in there. And as I'm hardening plants off, now, now I can put them outside when it's raining. Because um, the plastic will protect them. And I don't have to carry them in and out every night. Well, I probably will. I don't know. <laughs> well, when you're first hardening them off, you uh, depends on the temperature inside versus outside. But anyway, this is going to be a lot less work for me. And then... This summer, as I try to do uh, bushes, you know, trying to get bushes started from the Spirea and the Forsythia and maybe even the Flowering Quince and the American Beauty Berries and whatever else, this will be a great place for me to, to put those uh, that will protect them from the rain and still allow the sun in. And there's just, there are so many uses. This is awesome. I didn't even know I needed it, and I needed it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much again, Jeff and Ella. Milliken, I'm telling you. Milliken University, Decatur, Illinois. Uh, between the years 88 and 92, or give or take. Awesome people. Just awesome people. Magnanimous people, even. Right, Fifi?